All right, so we want to do this one? Yeah. What should we... Jeff, uh, you, got, you got fun things to say, Jeff? Count them. Yeah, I do. Count them. I thought you were drinking the one we were about to do. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> got like, oh, that's totally different. <laughs> beverage bodies, we try dreams. Welcome back to no. the Beverage Buddies show here on the Sand Network. My name is Dave Moore. Joining me, of course, are my two best friends, Curtis Lane and Jeff Daly. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Dave. Hi, Curtis. You said that. Uh, Curtis! Lane. <laughs> you hate his last name, don't Daly. you? Daly. Curtis is uh, at Backlane Films. Jeff is at Jeffrey Daly because he has the best Twitter handle of all three of us. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't use it. I used it. to be Curtoes. <laughs> Yours used to be what? Curtoes. Curtoes. I don't know why. I, got, I I thought it was for potatoes, and I was like, I'm kind of like a potato sometimes. Today I feel like a potato. I picked, because... up, I, I picked up the rum beverage, everybody. I'm sorry. Uh, so so what we're here. What are we trying today? We're here today to try another ginger beer. Not a holiday ginger beer, but the other ginger beer that Curtis has provided us. Curtis, because you provided this wonderful beverage, please tell us about it. Uh, well, it's a handcrafted over three days ginger beer from Bundaberg, Australia. As Jeff pointed out in our previous episode, that's actually where it's from. So this one is basically the same ginger beer, should taste similar, but it has no cinnamon and no clove. Whoa. So Actually, we're gonna you see. You still what have the to raw invert it is. just in case you guys didn't know. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta swirl it a little bit. You gotta see what it does. Not that much, Dave. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it explode on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this will be like mainly ginger, and it's. I feel like this will be better. I feel but like I, I. I don't know. I feel like this will be worse. You're gonna feel like I it's worse. So. Like spicier. No, because Spice. it it'll be gingerier. Do you not like ginger ale or ginger beer or anything like that? I, I think Canada Dry is boring. Um, I drink Canada Dry when I'm sick. Um, and uh, I drink whiskey when I'm sick. So that, <laughs> All right, is that not what you're supposed to do? <laughs> no, you're supposed to drink Glenvit 16, Jeff. Remember, oh, okay. you got to get the single malt scotch. No, oh, you're just supposed, like Ron Swanson. You're supposed to drink 40s of Cobra. Whenever you're sick, you're supposed to drink a 40 <laughs> ounce of Cobra. Edward 40 hands. If that's not a that, meme by the end of this, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> in in my experience with ginger ales, real ginger ales, not Canada Dry, is that they're too strong, and they're just overwhelming ginger taste. Like it feels like a gross dark ginger. Now, I was worried about the previous one for the same reason. Yet the spiciness and the sweetness of the holiday version of this ginger beer was delicious. So I could be completely wrong. I feel like you're you're going down a path of just being fearful because it's a little different, but I feel like it's going to be really good. Jeff, expectations. Mm-hmm. I like ginger ale and ginger beer. I like ginger beer entirely, so I think it's going to be really good. Like I can count the ginger in this beer. There's at least one ginger in this beer. I would say there's at least and two. And there's at least one ginger in this call, and that's Dave Moore. <laughs> <laughs> and you can count them. Count them. Count Sh- should, we, should we start uh, pulling this open, this fancy? No, no, wait, wait. This brings me into a question. Okay. Dave, you're, you're non-doubtedly a ginger. Uh-huh. My top hair isn't necessarily as red as yours, but I grow a red beard. Uh-huh. Does that make me a ginger? Like, what's the stopping point to where you're not a ginger anymore? Um, there is definitely red in your previous hair. You are ginger by definition. My previous hair. Your previous hair. <laughs> yeah, you had wow. hair. Wow, you had hair on your, your top. Your late hair, Jeff. But it was it was it was blonde red. But yeah, I, but I think with the amount of freckles, the Irishism in you makes you ginger. Okay. All right, good. So I'll, I'll allow it. All right, so I can drink this and it'll be cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> it's 100% just, cannibalism. I'm just going to start pulling off this really fancy tab that we've decided. Yeah, it's that the same tab. thing as the last one. I'm going to get close to it. So that way like I can a see grenade. It cam- oh, I'm going to shoot it at the camera. 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh see, I can't get it. It smells. Uh, I, the last one got stuck for me a little bit. This, oh, I can't get this one. It, the last oh, yeah, one's I'm struggling. Oh. There it goes, finally. Oh. I'm glad I didn't like point that at the camera because I would have gotten that all over everything. This, so this, this does smell stronger. It does smell stronger. It also smells like the ginger that I don't like, but it's not overwhelmingly gross strong. Like It still smells kind of good. So I'm. I feel like I'd like that when I was sick. I don't know if I. Like if you were sick and you put this in front of you, like, oh, I can smell that. Yep. Yeah. Now, ginger ale, as soon as it upsets stomach, does ginger beer do the same thing? I would assume so because it's both made with ginger. That's the part that's really the soothing aspect. Is okay. it though? Yeah. Some people drink Sprite and some people drink Seven Up. That's some not what you're supposed wrong. to do. <laughs> <laughs> some people are just wrong dude yeah that's all my brother drinks gatorade when he's sick i mean that kind of makes sense but that makes sense it's got electrolytes it's what it's brondo it's what plants crave <laughs> thank you curtis yeah. some people when they're sick they go into work you're not supposed to do that don't go to work stay home if you're yeah. sick be safe if you're ever sick ever just stay home please everybody please Okay, uh, are we ready to, uh, oh, just one more inhale, everybody. Oh, it's so gingery. It is gingery. <laughs> God, this I, is I times feel like, like this where I wish I had a good sense of smell. <laughs> I'm only slightly frightened. I don't. No, no, I've never, <laughs> I, I went to the doctor, I was sinusitis. Oh, I, that's. A chronic sinus infection. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, Jeff, it, it smells like you would expect if you shoved a root of ginger up your nose. There you go. Just I mean, it get does it up. Smell like that. Let me just pour it into my nose. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> go get the neti pot. We'll clean it right out. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> oh god. Just, oh no, you got to get the one that you squeeze and it just shoots up. <laughs> like Flonays. Yeah. Do they, do they make so, uh, water picks cool. for your nose? Oh. oh. God. My, just get a pump in yeah. there, put a little, little yeah. 30 PSI going up your nose. Yep, yep, exactly. There Pressure washer. Yeah, clean that stuff out. You won't have a science infection ever again. We'll, we'll figure this out. Yeah, Check I'll us out again to see again. Jeff get a neti pot full of ginger ale. Yeah, leave a comment down below if you want to see that. If this gets one million likes, I'll do it. I can only imagine if this got one million likes. I'll, I'll be happy okay, if this gets we... two likes. <laughs> I know. When I'm... All right, everybody. We were, we already tried this. Yeah. Curtis, wait, wait, Dave. Curtis froze. Hi, hi. Curtis right, froze Dana. at exactly the I moment that talking. I tried this. Yeah. I stopped talking, so I'm sorry. Did you take a sip yet? No, I was waiting because you guys both froze. I'm like, shit. My connection probably went wonky for a second. Well, and Dave just looked at me and took a sip when I told him that Curtis froze. Well, you went, like, no, 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 no. I, I was already sipping. He's like, I don't give a shit. So, so now I, you two need to try it. Then I'll tell you what I thought. I'll, I'll try it. Ooh, I like that better than the other one. Um, I don't know if I like it better than the the spiced ginger beer, but I now. Which one tastes spicier? The regular ginger beer or the spiced one? The spiced one. This one. Oh, See, I, I think this I'm completely one. The opposite. I think yeah, this I think one this one's spicier. more like ginger spice. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely gingery. It is definitely more ginger. Um, it, it is not so overwhelming, though, that I don't like it. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised. What I I think I like this would it. be good as is um so we all drink here obviously you know we we don't condone uh, uh, underage drinking if you're under the age of eighteen or, or twenty one and twenty one <laughs> and also drink responsibly yep. don't drink yep. and drive yep. it's not worth it right. call an Uber right. they're pretty cheap if you're if you drive and then drink but don't drive again no right. right. So what this would be really good as, and I didn't say this about the other one, um, this makes a this would make a beautiful Moscow mule. Oh yeah, like I would chug Moscow mules with this in it, and that's 
that's just plain out. This is so good. It would pair beautifully with vodka uh, or some gin if you're into that. It would bring the botanicals out in it. But the other one, actually in between how we, we when we were in here, I tried it with bourbon. And I got to say, I was blown away by how the Christmas one paired with bourbon as opposed to like a vodka. Yeah. If you ever uh, mixed like a like a fall cider with a bourbon, like oh, yeah. that's really it's good. Delicious. Um, it brings out like the woodsiness and like all the the smokiness of the barrel. Yeah, that's Excuse it. Me, I'm burping. And yeah, so this I agree would do really well with something like that. It's it's sweet enough that I'm enjoying the taste of it. It is not overly spicy, although no. the more I sip it, I agree that the the flavors in the spiced one are wider and spicier, but the spice, like the purity of the spice in this one is a little bit stronger than the last one. If yeah, that makes sense. I agree with that. Yeah. I like both of them. I think Bundaberg is great. Yeah, Man, I would. This is delicious. I would buy more of this happily. I drink this out of a fountain drink. Oh, yes. So also a random thing I did notice, they actually make other types of this in different countries that aren't yeah. in the United States. I can't find it for less than like forty dollars for four. <laughs> so maybe when we get more views and more subscribers, yeah. So if you guys want to, uh, you guys want us to try more Bunder beer, either send it to they us. They actually make a bunch of different flavors. Yeah, dude. Bunderberg, 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 Bunderberg. That's a messed opportunity. Yeah, right. But yeah, if you want to see us try out more flavors from Bungerberg, Bunderberg. Don't yeah. forget to subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to hit the bell, and you'll see videos from us with those. <laughs> what a, they have a creaming soda. Yeah, mm. they have a root beer too. I saw that I think, today when I was at the store. So I lemon have, lime I, and bitters. I have <laughs> had the root beer. I have had the Bunderberg root beer. It's delicious. It is the nicest root beer in the world. It is. It is well, actually what we should do. Uh, it is actually well, rooty. You know what we should do with it then, if it's good. Yeah. We should get a good quality vanilla ice cream. Ooh. And have a nice little floats. root beer float party. Mm. Ooh, that'd be good. I think that's an idea. I think uh, we have to get day. the finest ice cream. I think What's Curtis the finest ice cream. I think Curtis needs to get his uh his notepad out. Um the finest oh, yeah, good, ice good. cream, the finest vanilla ice cream in the northeast Ohio area is Mitchell's. I go Mally's. Mally's. Excuse Mally's. me? Their headquarters is in Northeast Ohio, Dave. I like Mally's. Mally's makes well, the best wrong. best chocolate and fudge in the world. But their ice cream, their pure ice cream. You're throwing out all these in the world comments, Dave. Yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> if we're going in the world, like if you want a good ice cream, Toffs is probably the best overall ice cream. Or probably Blue Bunny is a is up there. Oh. If you want a specialty ice cream, Ben and Jerry's is up there. If you want gelato, Tallini is pretty good, or Talani, whatever. Yes, it's but called. but Mally's ice cream is Mally's mediocre is at best. What? Dude, it's, dude, <laughs> we're gonna have to fight. <laughs> well, we're gonna. Ha so before we do the root beer episode, you already know what's gonna happen. We we're have gonna to have taste to do a taste every episode. vanilla ice cream. We are going Take to have time. to taste some vanilla ice cream. The now. Now, Mally's makes the best fudge in the entire world. And the best chocolate. I'll still fight you. Now, when you say <laughs> in the entire world, Dave, I mean the entire world. What makes you the preeminent fudge master? Uh, uh, Mally's. Yeah, I was about to say, like, have you gotten Dave, your you lips full of fudge country. yet? <laughs> have you gotten fudge lips? Dave's been to another country. Yeah, Canada, Canada for like five minutes and lost on the cruise, lost on the Queen Elizabeth Way for forty-five minutes of the two minutes I was there. What about uh, what about when you were on the cruise? That uh, it, the secret to the cruise is you can't buy anything off the cruise and bring it back onto the ship. So I had to down so a you bunch were of still rum on another country. True. I was in Labadee, Haiti, and uh, it's the only one I remember. Anyway. Did you eat any ice cream there, Dave? I did not. 
So you can't make these broad accusations of the best in the world yes. when you didn't even have ice cream in another country. Come on. All right. Mr. Mally's ice cream is good. I'm with Mally's. We'll fight on it. I love Mally's. I do, but not the ice cream. But to be fair, I've never had Mally's ice cream without fudge on it. The fudge is really what makes it. Maybe we... Okay, so... Okay, I'm, fine. I'll I'm not... This... I'm we'll not... have to do a taste test, dude. I'm not bashing look, Mally's. Like I'm just saying, Dave, there's probably a vanilla ice cream place like it, like where monks are churning this by hand day <laughs> in and day out. And they only release the flavor once once a decade. And it's like the vanilla bean monk edition. It's like some out there monastery that makes it. And that's the best ice cream in the world you can buy. On that note, uh, I quite enjoy this ginger beer. It is sweet. It is pure. It is wonderful. It's available at Costco in this country. And thank you to Curtis for providing these two wonderful ginger beers for us to try. Thank, thank you to you, Jeff Curtis. for arguing with me about whether Mally's <laughs> ice cream is good and uh, whether whether I can make broad statements about the best things in the world. And that's what we'd like to do here on this channel, the Snack Network. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below the things you guys want us to try. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys soon here on the Snap Network. Now, this ginger beer is the best ginger beer in the world. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel like that is a, a true statement. BB with CL, DM, and JD. <laughs> Beverage bodies, sweet dry dreams. 